band, it's this red band coming to you live from the 2017 Skate Fest. Get up for Tony Kent, hit clip for Kill Tony. Hello, everybody. New York motherfucking city. Brian Redband is here. Everybody. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the first ever Kill Tony in New York City. Hey, that's me. Look at that picture that they made. That's silly. I'm all like, what are you guys going to think about the show? <laughs> uh, this is our first time ever being in New York City. Extremely long overdue. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're in our fourth year of doing this show, and I don't know if you li ever li get a chance to listen to it or not, but we are the number one live podcast in the world. Hinchcliffe Monthly reports that we are the number one live podcast in the world. <laughs> Brian, I'm excited about tonight's show. We have yeah. so much fun stuff going on uh, for the podcast listeners. Uh, the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour is a tour that I get to do in the month of August. It's my first ever rock club and theater tour of my entire 10-year stand-up career, people. One of the stops is August 26th at a place they call the Gramercy Theater in New York City, New York. So I'm going to be popping off my new hour, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So let's start the show, shall we? Every single week, I have my funniest friends on the show. Here at Skankfest, it's no different. Put your hands together for Dave Smith, Louis J. Gomez, and Big J. Okerson. The Legion of yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, 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 holy can we judge Dave? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is weird. I uh, just did a special. I'm working out new material. So. <laughs> is this a microphone? <laughs> Can I point out that they gave the fattest guy a broken fucking chair? <laughs> it's it a comedy show, Jay. We're trying to make funny happen. <laughs> oh, is this the Benny Hill hour? <laughs> 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 Must have missed that. Oh, Louis dude. J. We're just going to be chasing each other through the doors through the creek of the cave. For you podcast listeners, by the way, Louis J is wearing an American flag cowboy hat. He had never seen, I've never seen anyone make the American flag look so goddamn Puerto Rican before <laughs> in my Build entire that life. Build wall. Build the old, that wall. The red, white, and brown over there. Uh, I'm fucking pumped. You guys have done this show literally tens of times amongst you. We've all done it together. We did it in Austin. We've done it in LA. We've done it everywhere. You guys know how it goes. We have a band. And you guys are lucky enough to have part of the band with you here tonight. It's the Kill Tony Band, Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. Where is the bull from? What? What's a good stand up on the spot? Is in Montreal this year? Roast battles the wave. The Kill Tony Band, the goddamn comedy jam. I call him the article because he's a monster, Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, New York? <laughs> Last time we did a road show with Jeremiah, I pulled a name out of the bucket of a young comic that was completely on mushrooms, and he tried to attack Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah fended him off with jokes while defending his saxophone. And then Big J bounced him, my hero. <laughs> you can't. It Big J's fucking shitty Philly instincts will take over. <laughs> it's like it's like God just talks to me. He's like, Jay, you were supposed to be a bouncer. <laughs> this is your opportunity. In a fair society, you would be a bouncer. <laughs> hey, man, get your hands off that pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> Jay should be a bouncer at a bar where Jeremiah is the hottest chick there. <laughs> Roadhouse. So we are in it to win it. Uh, this is exciting. These road shows always have wild characters uh, sign up for a chance to do 60 seconds on the stage. 
on these road ones. Sometimes it's people that have waited to literally start at some of these shows. You just never know what's going to happen. Sometimes it's insane people. I don't know how many of you listen to the show regularly, but this past episode we had the return of two char old characters from Las Vegas named Uncle Ron and Ichabod. Uh, I mean, unbelievable. They admitted to doing little bits of cocaine on the way there. They're zombies. I implore you to listen to that most recent episode with Moshe Kesher and Natasha Legero. But you guys know how it works. I pull a name out of the bucket and someone that signed up earlier before the show performed 60 seconds. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. Ah, oh, you can barely hear that. What does it sound like? There you go. That's how loud it can be. Uh, that means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Well, I guess, wait, 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 What would be the... Chelsea, or Hell's Kitchen is pretty gay now, too. Really? All right, or else you're going to bring out the angry Hell's Kitchen bear. Whoa. Oh, my God, someone get that bear some top. If it doesn't get a huge laugh, Brian just keeps hitting buttons until it does, so that's how that works. That's my podcast guys... style. <laughs> you guys ready to start this motherfucker or what? My hand is in the bucket. My hand is in the bucket. And the first name that I pulled out, I always love one word names. Always a good sign in some way or another, and that's how we're kicking it off. Put your hands together for Beecher. Beecher! Uninterrupted in uninterrupted 60 seconds. This place, by the way, okay, here he is, it's Beecher! All right, hey! Uh, I've been thinking a lot about sodomy. You know that uh, it's an... <laughs> Fuck, I wasn't ready for this. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about sodomy. Uh, you know, people have been doing something for a long time when the scientific name for it comes from the Bible. Like, that's an ancient practice. Grandpa's favorite. And I was, uh, I was if you guys are familiar with the story, uh, there was a city in the Bible named Sodom. It was so dirty that they named butt sex after it, and then God destroyed it. So I was thinking about sodomy, and... Uh, Fuck. <laughs> Uh, fuck, there's another part of this joke. God damn it. Wait, wait, I'm not done. I got 10 seconds left. 20 uh, seconds. 20 seconds. All right, then I'll just take my time. Uh, oh, so I was thinking about it. Is there anything else scientific in the Bible? And there isn't, which means that ass fucking is the most scientific thing about the Bible. Thank you. I just have one question. Yeah. Were you thinking about sodomy? Did you, bro, you know it's not going great when you do a time check in a minute set. <laughs> 40, 40 seconds in. And he, and, and, and he put it out there, too. He goes, what do I got? About uh, 10 seconds left. He goes, oh, I just wish I had a giant buzzer in front of me. Goes, not even close. Uh, 20 stretch, seconds. Stretch out the question. So how much <laughs> The most time interesting. I was thinking. <laughs> The most God me. You accidentally got a laugh in there at one point when you said the words, I'm going to take my time. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. First off, he looks like he should be playing my saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> and he would go by the name Kenny Jihad. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins is here! <laughs> all right, all right, okay, guys, that's enough. <laughs> it, that's, it, the, that's it, the most careless version of careless <laughs> whisper I've ever heard. You, you know, Tony, uh, you, Tony, you weren't here last night. I kind oh. of have a little PTSD because we saw his this guy's asshole and his dick last night. All right, the big podcast us. listeners that all weren't there last night, let's talk about it. Yeah, uh, hold on. Also, that just sounds a little weird because it sounds like we fucked him last yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. If people Everybody don't know the context that there was a naked roast. Beecher, why do you look like you always only eat fruit? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. It's just the hair. Where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. 
Woo! Yeah! Sandy Hook! Stop. Uh, stop I'll making say, noises. uh... I, I know Beecher. Beecher's very funny. That was not. I don't know what happened. Beecher's a funny comic. I partied but... last night. I'm going to party today, so fuck Woo! it. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's the give it up for the troops at Skankfest. <laughs> Cocaine! I'll, tell you, I'll it, tell you one thing I do know, Tony, and yeah. you were not privy to this, is that Beecher's got a unreal fucking ass. I mean, ass for Mary. days. Yeah. I uh, and kind of a disappointing cock. I don't know much about him, but I do know this, is that if we put Louis J's hat on him and a pair of sunglasses, he's Mexican Slash. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> Puerto Rican Slash. Puerto Rican Slash. There he is. Could we have found by chance worse sunglasses? There you go. You found your new calling tonight, Beecher. You're Slash at Times Square from now on. <laughs> what was your favorite part of last night, Beecher? I wasn't here. I flew in today. Fucking Zach's a maniac. He stapled himself. And I thought they were fake staples. I thought it was magic. And I went backstage. There was blood everywhere. I was like, those are real staples. It, it looked so bad backstage. Like, I was, I was uh, just shit-faced uh, shit drunk at the Naked Roast. And I walked back at one point, and I just saw my friend, Zach Amico, on the floor in a puddle of his own blood and R.A. Shafir's piss. And it's a long story. I remember, All right, yeah, it's a, not, it's a long story. Speaking of blood and piss, <laughs> has that minute ever worked before that you did tonight? This whole well, it's a technical forty seconds. Not at all. It what, what do you do for work? I am a stand-up comedian. Oh, I forget that people can make money on the yeah. East Coast doing this. In New form. England, you can make money. Oh, that's cool. Beecher. I, I also like dog walk and cat sit, so and I'm a background actor. Why don't you just leave it? Leave it sexy. You don't have to add that in after five beats. <laughs> Why don't you raise the microphone instead of getting in that weird crouch every time? Who's <laughs> going to Brazilian dancing karate? Beecher, do you always only drink beverages that match your shirt? <laughs> Sweet Leaf. I'll give it a good plug. Sweet Leaf. It's the best. It's a latte day. Is there something about being judged, though, in a weird way? Because you're not, you're, uh, you've been doing comedy forever. I've known you for a long time. But kind of be, you know, being judged this way in front of your peers, is, you don't do open mics really anymore. Is that why you completely failed in your attempt? <laughs> I, I wasn't it. ready to go first. I, I had that bit. I, I was like, oh, that bit never works. Let me just give it to you guys. Um, give it to us. Why would you do a bit that never works? I, I'll tell the honest. Uh, <laughs> We're giving it back to you. <laughs> like concept. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> we re-gifted his gift. <laughs> Well, I, thought, I thought the concept was pretty funny of the joke, but then, you know. Uh, it was uh, biblically sound. Yeah. You know what? Check that fact was. Yeah, if you do an anal sex joke, you're going to win Jay over 99% of the time. I am an easy target. Beecher, it's never easy to get the show kick started, but you managed to do it here tonight. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen, Beecher. He's on Twitter at Beecher Comedy. B-E-E-C-H-E-R Comedy. All one word. See in LA when you ask a comedian what they do for work, they have to tell you what they actually how they actually make their money. <laughs> when they try that I'm a stand up comedian shit, I just go, What do you really do? And they're always like, Uber <laughs> <laughs> All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Josh Branham. Somebody won't Branham. Told me the world Branham. is gonna roll me. I ain't the right. sharpest tool in the shed. Uh -oh, Jeremiah's got this. Shot. She was looking kind of dumb with the Here he is, Josh Branham, and everybody. Thumb in the shape of an Oh, guys, I kind of just want to hear that song. Do we have to? Do we have to kill Tony right now? All right, fine. Oven out on her forehead. Two, three, four. You start coming and they don't start coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back street? You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all star. All right, ladies and gentlemen, John Branham. I gotta, I gotta say okay. something. Everybody <laughs>, laughs and calls me Smash Mouth, and now look at you. 
You found out they've loved you all along. Ladies and gentlemen, an uninterrupted 60 seconds from Josh Grano. I uh, dropped my phone in the toilet the other day. Luckily, it landed right on top of my career. <laughs> Barely got wet. I live with my uh, girlfriend in a super tiny apartment. My office is a blanket I throw over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got a girlfriend. I don't have any game. I never had any game. I was so uh, terrified about taking a girl's bra off for the first time that I saved up money for six months and I bought a mannequin. <laughs> and every day I would come home from school and run into my room. I'd put a bra on that mannequin and I would practice saying, yeah, you do it. <laughs> Wow, Josh Branham, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, Josh. They love you. That was fucking awesome. Thanks. <laughs> How long have you been on stand-up? Twelve years. That's awesome. No, it's not. <laughs> Josh, you have a resting facial expression that you do not want to hear good or bad news. <laughs> Yeah, this all seems... Can we just go? Seems like you were here for the minute, and you just want to kill and get right out of here. Uh, dude, I love everything about his, like, 12 years in comedy vibe, because it's just, like, his jokes are, like, almost beyond doing this. Yeah. And he's just, he's just got the vibe that he's over it. I just yeah. I love how comedy just breaks your spirit. It's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Like, six years ago, if he just crushed like that on this big podcast, so he'd have been like, man, things are going good for me in my career. And now he's like, fuck all of you. No, like, I don't care. He almost killed too hard. He's going, ah, fuck it. I should have done this fucking show. What did I do here? <laughs> I fucking suck. I couldn't have gotten into this goddamn fest. I want to kill myself. It's, it's amazing to watch someone get something after they would have enjoyed it. <laughs> and I just, I like, I, that makes happens. me happy as a person. Uh, dude, that was fucking hilarious. Was great, yeah. that, it, you're the perfect style for that, too, because you're so quick into the first punch. And uh, that blanket thing as your office was so funny, man. Great job. I don't know. Was, uh, and also just 12 years. I mean, it shows through that. What do you do for fun and stuff? Now you're just a guest on a podcast. We're not judging you or anything. Uh, I watch a lot of sports, and I hate a lot of people. Ooh. What kind of people do you hate the most? Oh, everyone that's gone further than me. <laughs> ah. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> Not really. I, I... <clears throat> What's your least favorite race? <laughs> Great that big done. chuckle Great he question. gave on that Great. one. I'm going to go with Melungeon. <laughs> Ooh, what are they? You don't want to know. <laughs> They're just the worst. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Brian, whoa. <laughs> Brian's dealing with a hangover. Wow. I caught him periscoping at 6 a.m. today, by the way. <laughs> I was at the Jacksonville airport, and this motherfucker's still awake. All right. Josh, uh, how long have you been with your girlfriend? Seven years. God damn, that's a long time. <laughs> stop it, stop it. <laughs> Brian, you did it again, And she Brian. is a seagull, I should have mentioned that. <laughs> did you meet your girlfriend doing comedy, like, after a show? No. Uh, how'd you meet her? Uh, she was in graduate school. What, you were creeping on and, and dorms? You, what were you doing? Does she... Okay, what does that mean? You were out pedophiling, <laughs> and she's in graduate school? and I was waiting outside of the college for the <laughs> best-looking girl in graduate school. <laughs> oh, you queer. He's going to make her listen to that. Does she hate or love your comedy career? Uh, she loves my comedy. She hates my career. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> That's chicks for you. You guys, like, fight about that a lot? Is that a thing? What's a lot? <laughs> Does she ever say to you, it's not a job because you don't make fucking money? Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> Is Jay just feeding her new things to say to you? At this point? <laughs> I feel like he's trying to break me down emotionally on stage. <laughs> I'm trying to connect with you. Not you, Jay. <laughs> No, you, Jay. No, you, Jay. Shut up, man. <laughs> it's not your fault, Josh. <laughs> it's 
not your fault. <laughs> yeah. Is Industry's your, been your, putting cigarettes out on my back. For the <laughs> is your chick the, like a breadwinner? Does she like make more money than you and that's like a thing? Oh, oh yeah. What does she do? She works at Wonder Bread. She's a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the breadwinner. <laughs> Double breadwinner joke for those of you that missed it. If your thing is like... Uh, if, if your thing is that your career's not going the way you like... like I mean, look, you're writing really funny jokes. So for the comedy industry, you're going about this all wrong. You should, like, can you be transgender? That could maybe, <laughs> that could help. Sure. If you could do that, I, I think I could get you a TV thing. If you, if you could write your resume as good as you write your jokes, we'd be killing it right now. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah. What does she do for work? Did we get an answer? She's a uh, professor. Ooh. Question, did she what? have to compete for that job in some sort of a weird podcast <laughs> tournament? <laughs> Or did she, uh, just, was she qualify? And teach for one minute while great. other more experienced teachers judge her teaching? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another well, teacher plays monkey sound effects. This is Tony, if you're if you're lost a little bit, that's Lewis's business model. <laughs> Start a business and then make people compete to work for your business. For free. I actually I actually happen to know this for a fact because uh I learned about the battle of interns uh, today on my ride getting picked up from an intern, a Stankfest intern, <laughs> intern from the Olympics. airport to the hotel. I'm like, yeah, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, we, you know, we were having a great talk and this and that, and uh, we're getting near the hotel. And I'm like, you know, yeah, and if you're ever in L.A., just, you know, hit me up. You have my number. I'll, you know, show you the comedy store. She's like, yeah, well, you know, if you really think I'm cool. You'll let Louis J know that I really want to win the battle of interns. And I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is the battle of interns? So, Tony was like, can we stop for a Starbucks? He's, oh, Louis, get mad if we come back. Uh-uh. I'm not explaining that crazy motherfucker that y'all ass wanted coffee. I'll go back out. Oh my god. Is Steve Harvey competing in the Intern Olympics? And you by think the way, all blacks sound alike? Yes. That wasn't a Steve Harvey. And yes, the monkey sound with that said, though, I want to say, because I don't want to screw over, and she's awesome, I, Alexandria does get my vote. She's a New York film Alex student. Alex is fucking dope. And, way, and in my opinion, way overqualified to be your intern. That is true. <laughs> yes. Listen. That's very true. She is perfectly qualified, okay? Her mission was to... Pick up Tony and brief him on the intern Olympic <laughs> situation, and she did it. Okay, yeah. uh, she is. By the way, she's been killing it in the intern Olympics. Is she's she in won, the room right now? Events. Is she in the room? And of course she not. Lost. She's fucking working. Yep. As she should be. My vote goes for Mike Harrington. Uh, he was actually getting us drinks last night, the whole night. Like, do you want any more well, that, drinks? That's and, like, not actually running good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you were periscoping at six a.m. Yeah. Kid, Josh, kid for us. You, you absolutely killed it. I mean, it sort of busts the show when someone comes in to make their big break on it, like uh, their Tonight Show set or something <laughs> like that. But you fucking did it. That's unbelievable. And uh, anything else you want to say or plug or anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. Book me. Oh, okay. By the way, I'm pretty sure I just did. There he goes, Josh Branham, everybody. He's on Twitter at Comic Josh. Follow him. Wow, Comic Josh. That's crazy. He's the actual at comic Josh. Like, he got that first. That's You've known comedy for 12 years, Tony. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's net that's, day. That's, that that, that itself is Twitter. a pretty good credit. 12 years, you would go, oh, <laughs> this Twitter is going to change my that. career. <laughs> he, got, he got at Josh. You guys having fun out there? Yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Byron Sadiq. Here he comes, Byron Sadiq, ladies and gentlemen. No one thought that was coming to the stage. Make some noise one more time for Byron Sadiq. Alright guys, uh, I'm fat. You know, I, my problem is I love food too much. Like, I eat dessert every night as a reward for not killing myself. Like, leave the gun, take the cannoli. That's a Clemenza meant. Like, I wish, like, food addiction sucks. Like, I wish I had a cooler addiction, like something sexier. Like, I wish I was addicted to heroin. Because 
If you tell people you're addicted to food, people just think you're fat. You just tell people you're addicted to heroin, people think you play guitar. <laughs> and that's way cooler, like, yeah, I'm addicted to food. Shut up, fatty. Uh, I'm addicted to heroin. Oh, my band's practicing Saturday. You want to jam with us? We actually need another guitarist because our last one OD'd on heroin. <laughs> and plus, heroin acts are all skinny, too. Like, they got those nice heroin abs. Like, it, it, I don't know what it is. Like, heroin acts are all, like, 90s grunge singers. Like, they're gorgeous. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you. <laughs> Byron Sadiq. Hello, Byron. What's up, Tony? How are you? Mark. You're one of the you're one of the funniest twelve year old versions of Andre the Giant we've ever had on the show. <laughs> Let me start off by telling you that. It looks like him and Thank Beecher you. are both sleeper cell terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Iraqi, so that's there's very little truth to that. You're Iraqi? Hey, my family's from Iraq. Don't say that about yourself. I don't, I don't your, care. Your but, family's from Iraq. Like, were you from Iraq or just your family? Like my mom, dad, everyone. I was born here though. So, oh, you were born you know. here. Okay. It's going pretty good, right? Uh, things are okay in Iraq. It's not yeah. too bad. It's bad you know. uh, yeah. Whoa, Gen whoa, calm Gen I mean, down. I mean, there's genocide, but there's genocide, but when is there not genocide? You know what I mean? You go back there to visit a lot? <laughs> yeah. No. At a certain point, do you I think, like, like, I've lived in a really noisy apartment, and then I get used to the noise? Yeah. Do you think people in Iraq, like, there's bombs going off, and they just, like, roll over? Like, like, whatever. It's going uh, this fucking Tuesday. I don't know. I mean, like, I talked to my, like, my, my aunt and my uncle just came, like, 10 years ago. They lived through, like, the war and all that shit. My uncle was kidnapped. Long story. But, um, like, they're, they seem pretty cool about it. They're, like, they're surprisingly even keeled. Like, there's no PTSD. My family died and stuff. People were kidnapped. So, anyway, long story. Um, <laughs> you know what's wait, more wait, interesting? What? Your uncle being kidnapped thing. is in whatever you're about to tell us. <laughs> Watch my mom get shot in the face right next to me. It's a whole other thing. Yeah, right. no, no, no. <laughs> So. so so I'm getting a Dr. Pepper out of the vending machine. Yeah. Uh, but to answer your question though, like I, I mean, it's like it's just it's been bad for so long. I think people are just like kind of used to it, and it's like we're like they're just happy to be in America. So like if you're in America, it's like all right, we're just here. We just want to be here. We're safe. Yeah. yeah. See, skanks, that's a little message. How lucky you have it. That's right. <laughs> it's like bitching about the party until you get into the party, and you're like, hey, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Outside, you're like, this fucking rich asshole is up there partying. And you get in, you're like, this party rocks. <laughs> Byron, how long have you done, been doing stand-up? About six years. Six years. Jesus, everybody's been doing it so long out here. <laughs> it's weird, because you were half as good as the last guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you anything I can get, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Force of truth activated. He's doing math jokes like Dimitri Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Dave starts drawing pictures and pedestrians. Byron, do you always What's dress that? like that? Yeah, I always wear black. I love this. There's like a New York thing where you all sort of dress like umpires sometimes. Like it's all just very mellow, just like chill. Like you could referee something at any point or bounce someone if you really want to. Like yep. I think bust some tables if it's necessary. <laughs> or be a stagehand. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I just, I always like wearing black, and you know, so it's just whatever. Byron, do people ever come up to you and uh, get you confused for Gore Burger? Who's that? <laughs> it's a new show on Comedy Central. Oh, uh, Byron, when you were singing for Nine Inch Nails, did you <laughs> something? Byron, uh, is any <laughs> <laughs> Byron, has anybody ever walked up to you and just took those sweet tresses of hair and put it behind your ear gently? Yes. Because I want to. Ah. Uh. Byron, I feel like there's something compelling about you that we're not quite getting at. Yeah, he skipped is... over everything. <laughs> it's too long of a story. Uh, the too long yeah, of what a happened story. to your uncle being kidnapped? Oh, uh, long story short, he was like in Iraq, like he was kidnapped in Baghdad. He was, he was dressed really slutty and asking for it? No, because they kidnapped him. No, he was, he was Christian, so like some Muslims kidnapped him. And they held him ransom for 60 grand, and my, and my family paid it, and he got out. Really? Yeah. Wait, so yeah. All right, we've all seen the movie Taken, okay? <laughs> Byron's like, I have a special set of skills, not stand-up comedy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Give me back my uncle. Byron, what's... Give me back my jump. <laughs> what's, what's something weird or something, you know, sort of a secret that you have that you do that you don't really want people to know about that you might I actually... I kidnapped my own uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Fine, you got me, Tony. Got 60 grand, spent it on a Tempur-Pedic mattress. Uh, I, I used to do, I used to be in a mixed martial arts fighter. You used to be in and mix a martial yeah. arts fighter. Like an avatar? Yeah. It has to be inside Tight of, of, the, of the butt of a mix. <laughs> All right. No. Can, we, can we have a high kickoff? I, I, I don't kick good. I'm wearing, like, tight jeans, man. Take off the jeans. Take <laughs> off the jeans. Whoa, that, the jeans. I was kidding, but okay. <laughs> I was making a joke, She's, but the crowd kept like, chanting. Uh, she wants me to, but I, I don't know, that's weird. I, no. listen, I'll, I'll be honest. Oh, Jesus, listen, no. I want to see your high kick, but I do feel like I have to tell you the last guy I saw take his clothes off at Skankfest got a big cup of piss thrown in his face. So yeah, I would just I heard about I'd that. be careful. I was I gonna just tell you to beat the shit out of Lewis, but forget it. Nah. How long ago were you doing MMA? For about your head shaped like an octagon. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've been doing jujitsu. I've been doing like MMA for like five years and jujitsu for about nine years. Whoa! So you're like, a, like you, you're like a nerd on the outside, but then you just fuck people up if they like try to cheat in Dungeons and Dragons or something. <laughs> like that. I mean, you know, I actually I've never played Dungeons and Dragons before, so but like I do like nerdy shit. So I yeah. killed a guy once. Long story. So I worked at Walmart. <laughs> And when you say you're into, pretty solid. When you say you're into a bunch of nerdy shit, what do you yeah. mean? I mean like I like uh like nerdy video games, like I love Final Fantasy and stuff like that. You know, I um I do I used to watch some anime but not so much anymore. And like I think comedy is the nerdiest thing I do now. You ever jerk off to anime? Not really. I was never super into that stuff. Not really. What does that mean? I don't like a couple I've done it a couple times. No, he'll do like, like, he's not gonna come to it. Like he'll do like some of the mid <laughs> You'll, you'll use it to get them hard, but that's right. just a fluffer. Do you play Call of Duty? No, I'm not big into first-person Too first close to home. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, we're the soldiers? No! My uncle's a uh, character uh, in this video? He just oh, shoots nice. his uncle. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think that's the right race, Brian. It's not the wrong, wrong continent. The right continent. What's the wristband on your wrist? What's that from? This? Yeah. Uh, they gave it to me. Oh, for this? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And also used to be a bass player for Creed. <laughs> oh, no, I hate I hate Creed. I'm, I'm offended by that. I can't stand Creed. <laughs> That's I whenever I get punched in the face after <laughs> No! Not Creed! <laughs> Byron guy drew funny lines. Oh, my hands messed up. I can't hit nobody. You have a girlfriend, Byron? No. Nah. Now? Nope. When's the uh, last date you went on? Uh, that MMA dude? About two months ago. <laughs> Where'd you go two months ago? Uh, I think we went to the Met. The what? The Met. The Metropolitan Museum. Oh. Yeah. Where'd dude, you know that it Do people wrong? call it that? Yeah, people call it here. here. Alright, just want to make sure. Yeah. I mean, it's not like... <laughs> that would be awesome if this guy just made up the Met. <laughs> like, he, just, he just came up with that. <laughs> you know, I took her to the Yank. What? Yankee Stadium. Uh, it's a thing. I shorten things sometimes. It's an Iraqi thing. We started with our names, we continue with other places. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, was Where'd cool. you know the date at the Met started going wrong? Where did you know that uh, it wasn't going to happen? Uh, I mean, it didn't go wrong, actually. It was all right. Oh, how yeah. did it end? Nothing. We just hung out the whole night. It was cool. Nothing. Uh, that's good. like if you say I had an audition and you didn't get it, and you went, I think it went okay. Like, no, it didn't. <laughs> the whole you didn't fuck her. You said right. Yeah. So yeah. the date didn't go good. Yeah, that's you, you never date. fucked her ever. No. Nah. Oh, that's a terrible date. <laughs> yeah, <we're good. laughs> how did how did it actually end? Like, did you walk her home or? Uh, I think so. Yeah. No, nope, you didn't. you think so? Yeah. I mean, it was. Is this, like, Why are you is this I mean, like the anime Not Really that I got earlier? I'm, no, because I'm trying to think of like, did, did we go in the Uber? Did she go in an Uber home or did like take the train? I don't even there remember. was never was a date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even think this guy's from Iraq. <laughs> is that what you whispered to <laughs> Pulls wife? off his mask. It's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy from Creed. Oh, right. no. Byron, okay. uh, it was nice to meet you. Likewise, someone. There you go, Byron Sadiq, everybody. Right, He's on Twitter at Byron Sadiq. You can follow him there. You can see him at the Met or the Yank. See him performing at the Creek. At the Creek. Not here, an actual Creek. <laughs>
You know what, Jeremiah? I'm going to have you play this next person up while Brian's iPad recharges. You ready for this? Jeremiah is going to bring up the next comedian musically. Put your hands together for Casey Aurora. Boom. KC Aurora. Awesome name. Here he is. KC Aurora, everybody. Thank you. Uh, so I saw this documentary about a couple that smoked meth for the first time. They smoked meth, got really high, and then ran out of their car in negative 20 degree weather and then froze to death. Real tragic shit. And the lesson I took from that was this meth is a summer drug. I saw this other documentary about this guy who shot up an Amish school full of kids. Yeah. The only glimpse of modern technology those kids got. <laughs> were bullets whizzing to their tiny bearded faces. You want to know what the real tragedy behind the Amish school shooting is? You can't scrub blood out of unfinished wood floors. That's my time. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I think we're learning something about New York real quick. These motherfuckers are here to destroy. There's no fucking around. Casey Aurora. Hello. <laughs> I like this guy, Tony. He's wild, man. <laughs> Casey Aurora, fucking hello. Hi. S how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, should be eight years in September. Eight years. Should it be? <laughs> yeah, it should. <laughs> it's interesting to see you performing in a black box since I'm used to you at a white castle. Let me say that up front. I have to get some horrible version of that joke out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of those too. Of course. All right. <laughs> Casey, uh, so you do this for a living? Yes. That's how. People do it here. It's so confusing. Yeah, not well. I'm sure yeah. he doesn't like fucking live by himself. How do you guys uh, afford places by doing this though? Because there's four thousand other comics looking for a place to share with eight people. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I can't tell whether you're talking about the lineups or the apartment. Both. <laughs> <It's all> the <laughs> <same>. <laughs> and you have to sign up for both way early. Yeah, I, I, I'll also say, like, uh, Casey, like a lot of these guys, I've known a lot of these guys a while. They're all guys that are working the clubs. This isn't, I don't think it's the typical uh, open mic level guys that you're getting at the yeah, store right. a lot. These guys are all, right. all, you know, I've worked with Casey a bunch. He's a fucking killer. He's a monster. Yeah. He's actually booked at the festival. Awesome. Um, but, yeah, dude, great shit, dude. Did Thank you go you. dark just because it's Skank Fest? Because those are some fucking dark jokes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, I like, I don't get a chance to tell those jokes very often. I was like, this would be perfect for this yeah, crowd. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, I love, not only, look, it was hilarious shit. I also have known Casey for a long time. He's a hilarious comic. That was hilarious. Thank and you. the fact that you... It just really means something to me that you know our audience that well. That you would be like, you know what these people would be into? The murder of children, I think. That's what will get these guys going. And, and it tore down the roof. Like, I mean, they loved it. You were right. I couldn't deny. That's hilarious. I love, I got to say, dude, and I think what, what I hate about comedy today is it's missing so much. I love comedy with balls, and that's really ballsy, funny shit. So, Thank great you. job. Thank you. Yeah. KC, that was fantastic. How many times you got to hear it over and over again? I don't know. <laughs> what's your uh, <laughs> What's your ethnicity? Indian, hundred percent. Indian, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Fan of Jinder Mahal. <laughs> Who's that was for that four is. people in the room that know yeah. who that is. It's worth it to me. I have a pro wrestling podcast. Oh, okay, don't worry yeah. about it. Uh, KC Aurora. So you've been doing stand up for you said seven. It'll be eight in September. Right. Right. What's your what do you what is your Indian parents like? What do they support you doing this or? Uh my dad's dead, so I don't really Perfect uh, <laughs> party. Right. Party. And Live your dreams. Mom. Live your dreams. And my mom. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> when the when the dad's away, the mice will play. <laughs> how, did, how did your dad die? He was crushed by an elephant. Right. <laughs> I love you. Asked he was trying train. to pray to him. <laughs> how did he? How did he die? Fell off the top of a train? Uh, no, it was. It was <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Oh, okay, very good. I was gonna get. Stuck <laughs> in <the> accident, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Brian.
Brian Redman just went on a fucking solo and killed me. Dude, Jesus Red Band had Christ. three sound effects loaded for that scenario. Yeah, like, he has a folder so, in case right. Indian father dies. <laughs> Train, car crash. <laughs> Brian's face lit up when he started going there. No, I didn't think I'd be able to use this. I've this been waiting four moment. years to open this folder. <laughs> Casey Aurora sounds like such like an awesome. It sounds like the name of like a new female pop singer that's taking the world by storm. Uh, what's that short for? Like, what's your uh, Canal Chand Aurora? Holy shit! <laughs> we get why you changed it. Right. <laughs> yeah, that is spicy. <laughs> what's the most? What's the most Indian thing about you? Like that His you face. <laughs> Like that you notice, like Lewis something that, that we wouldn't. Very good, Louis. Uh, I do cook Indian food, so there's. Do that. your neighbors hate you? Oh, spicy. <laughs> not often, so no, it's not. Uh, it's not like enough. They don't tell it to his face. Right. <laughs> you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Indian girlfriend? No, white. Ooh. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Good for Remember you. Remember when uh, they asked if you were Indian and you said 100%? Yeah. And change those numbers for your kids. Right. All right. Get a little bit of fucking, get that bitch down to 80. Right. <laughs> you still count his blood as being more than the white blood. Everybody knows non-white blood infects the entire white host. Okay. How long have you been with the white girl? Uh, it's been three years. Three years. Yeah, it's been one week. <laughs> <laughs> were you with, have you ever been with an Indian girl? No, never. Wow, only white women for you. I mean, it's different races. I've just never, I've tried. It just never worked out. You've been with a black woman? Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> Red Band. Red Band is Red Band on fire you. right now for some reason. <laughs> How do you have that? Did you know I was going to ask him that? I felt, I felt it. It's another folder when Indian guy dates black woman. <laughs> that is spicy. <laughs> Does your white girlfriend like your uh, Indian food? Yeah, oh, she loves it. Are you a fan of Steph Curry based on principle? <laughs> I mean, when, I mean, three point shots are three point shots, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Oh. I will say, Casey's. He's very attractive for an Indian. Usually when you see an Indian guy, you're like, no fucking way. But I see Casey getting some hot puss. I've yeah. told a lot. I've said many times, Casey, Indian 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But again, it's... White you know, six? Which is, <laughs> which is six million rupees. Right. Yeah. You're still doing math jokes if you think about it. Killing it. I rely heavily on math jokes if you really break <laughs> me down. It's all, I'm basically just a Lewis voice in math jokes. That's all I got, but... It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Casey so are you able to live off the money off of who wants to be a millionaire or? Oof. The slumdog millionaire. Yeah. yeah it was, it was, wanted to say. You really got to get the reference right for that joke. I thought you were saying he was so it's smart. He one. won who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure Regis hosted that. I don't know. <laughs> Casey, it was fun to meet you. Great stuff up Thank here. You. Great Hilarious. set. Thank you. There he goes. He's on Twitter. Casey Aurora Views. Casey A-R... O R A V I E W S. Trying to fly through as many of these names as we can. I will say this: is there's been no insane people yet, and I sort of miss that. Yeah, yeah. every quality. E everybody's here to like, you know, just bust out into the scene. Just like, are Burger. we just listening to uh, funny struggling comics tell their jokes? <laughs> like, I want to yeah. see a crackhead or something. Right, Let's exactly. None of these guys are gonna punch Jeremiah. Nor normally, there's just a good old, completely insane person every once in a while. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. Put your hands together for Diego Lopez. There he is, Diego Lopez. I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm not that crazy. I I'm trying to be more responsible sexually. Uh, I've had to purchase uh, an alarming amount of Plan B in my life. Uh, it's fine. I don't know who the marketing team behind Plan B is, but they're geniuses. Because Plan B costs $48, and that's the perfect price for you to never learn your lesson. <laughs> Fuck, I promised I wouldn't do this to myself again. It's a reasonable penalty to avoid a 12-year commitment. Uh, oh. so how long did your parents raise you for? I, I kind of topped out at 12. I love living in New York. I like collecting old photos of New York City, like turn of the century, black and white photos. 
It's cool to see how people used to live here back then with like the cobblestone roads and the wagons. But every time I see one of those photos, I always wonder, were suits free back then? Like everyone's in a suit, really? The kids selling newspapers is in a three-piece, yet every time I'm invited to a wedding, I have to call in favors. <laughs> yeah, can I borrow a blazer? Yes, I know I'm the best man. I'm also the worst adult. I'm sorry. I have no money. Thank you so much, guys. Lens Diego Lopez. There you go. Exactly a minute. Diego. <laughs> wow. I, I think Jeremiah really liked you, Diego. Oh, man, dude. Back at you. <laughs> you know, Tony, where no one's doing bad, uh, which is different than uh, some kill Tonys, what is consistently happening on the show is nobody looks like the race their name would suggest. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just yeah, but let show. me say, that is a very good point, but let me say, me and Jay, we have a history of, of you know, liking Spanish guys who are a little whiter than their name would oh, make you think. Oh, 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 oh. White power, bro. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Yeah, Di he was like, Diego Lopez. I was like, cool, a drug dealer. Nice. <laughs> Noise. I got nothing. Well, I, I said the thing about someone, you know, punching Jeremiah, and then they read the name, and I was like, well, this guy's obviously going to be violent. And then he came up, and I was like, well, this gentleman's not going to hurt anyone. I don't anyone. know if you saw him, but he's got a sh uh, shitty cauliflower ears. He does have cauliflower. Whoa. Oh, good. We could have another, we yeah. could have a fight between you and the uh, Yeah, yeah, Byron's great. He looks like a fucking Irish merchant marine. Look at his <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> looks like young Popeye. He's got st the mascot. stories from fucking Dub Dub 2. <laughs> What's your story, Diego? You live here in New York? Yeah, I live here. Uh, Great, born here? No, I was born in New Jersey, grew up in South Florida. Ah. Two of the worst. You, now it, all yeah, sort of, it all sort of makes sense now. <laughs> so Diego's confirmed garbage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You are, uh, all right. White basura. <laughs> What's the test? Ta you have tattoos all over your arms. Which is the one you regret the most? Uh, the only one I regret is on my ribs, because it's just really stupid. Let's see it? it. Yeah. It's a big, stupid painting. Wow, that is a big stupid painting. Hey. That's cool. I like yeah, that. it's, hey. it's just uh, not the style I've ever. I've like hey, Americana Diego. style. Yes, sir. Can I see? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I thought Jeremiah was gonna play that <laughs> song he played. It looks, like, it looks like somebody ripped uh, some of his skin off, and underneath his skin is children's pajamas. <laughs> 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 he looks like he owns all seasons of bananas and pajamas on DVD. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Diego, <laughs> yes, sir. It's he. His whole thing is it's, he's like a badass MMA fighter. He's got those fucking ears, but he's got the, the, that. Like the, I would see the bottom of your pants and shoes. Yeah, baby. And I would fist fight you in a heartbeat. Yeah. That's the point. That's the trap. I know. Yeah. Really is. Why are you try. trying to you trap have, people? What you, is your problem? I, uh, you have like, MMA like, ears and FAG pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A, a real Connor Mathager over here. <laughs> oh, shit. Diego, how, did you fight a lot? I mean, what's uh, that? What's yeah, that? I, I fought for a long time. I teach now. It's my job. I teach MMA. Oh, you teach um, it. Yeah, it's cool. Where do you teach? Williamsburg MMA. Cool. It's in Williamsburg. Come check it out. Oh, uh, yeah. For all I'm the comedy sign fans who want to get beat the fuck up on a random day. It costs $5,000 a month. <laughs> Very reasonable. I teach a lot of comics, too. That's the thing. Oh, Not right. jokes. No, 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 no. <laughs> huh. Crazy shit ever go down there? Anybody ever get, like, you know, angry and try to actually fight fight? At the gym? No. Everyone, I mean, once they go in there, they kind of have the idea, like, okay, they're teaching this for a reason, so let me just be chill. So, yeah. no, never, never in the gym itself. You ever, like, save a kid's life? Like, uh, I don't know, any compelling story there at the gym or anything uh, like that? No, I teach kids as well. I mean, so it's cool when they come, because they come because they usually get bullied. Oh, oh, oh. And they come and train, and then... Uh, <laughs> when, when you said you teach kids as well, you put your hand out to signify a specific height of a child. Yeah, like, oh, you know. That's a really, are. really short kid that you're talking like, oh, about. Five, you're five year old is when we start. What do you I got him throwing a mean high kick, but it only really hits your knee. Uh, is, uh, I teach uh, two-year-olds jujitsu. Do you want to do a Do you want to do a high kick off? So against you? Yeah. Sure. Oh! Oh, where's the fucking Iraqi kids? I'm wearing jeans. His jeans couldn't have been tighter than these jeans. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever Kill Tony. Take off. We're gonna put game in the man's got to learn to go. Try to believe.
We, we have, we have, by the way, we have no idea what's happening or how this is going to go. So we're all, whoa. Oh. And Jeremiah's about to do it. It bothers me just how easily he threw that kick to my, like he threw that the way I threw a jab. He just threw like a head kick. Jeremiah, are like you going to throw a fight? It would be that easy for him. <laughs> Jeremiah, take my fucking head off. Are you keeping your saxophone on for the year high kick? Yes, I am. Wow! I'm really excited to see this. Oh, Jeremiah, uh, why do I, I feel like more, this yeah. is the next uh, YouTube video of ours? Uh... <laughs> oh! It was higher. Was higher. A bad kick, but very high. Yes. He would kick the fuck out of your armpit. He'll get right up in there. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, if Jeremiah had just turned and shin kicked me in the face, <laughs> <laughs> that might have been the best way to win that competition. Just I, send I, you to the audience. A little part of me was like, I'd be mad, but as a comedian, I'd get it. <laughs> Die, <laughs> where the joke is. Diego, anyone ever fuck with you in real life and find out the hard way that you're an MMA trainer? Um, some people have shitty attitudes, and I definitely don't want to get arrested, so I just let them be the bigger. I'd be like, yeah, that's you win. a good political answer if you're running for senate or yeah, something yeah. like that. But in real life, like, is a situation have you ever had to like do the wrist grab thing and be mm. like, you fucked up? <laughs> Anything like that? No, I have been at shows where, like, in the back of the room, drunk people are being rude to like somebody, and I'll just kind of like creep my way over and make sure no one does anything. But no, <laughs> not really. Uh, well, I just wouldn't give a fuck if you creeped over. Like, get the fuck away from me, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you and your gay pants Witches. up. <laughs> Which you just not, nothing against fire. you. No, no, go ahead. That's Lewis's standard response to sure, anyone no, no, who very comes true. up to him. So don't like, you know, don't take it personal. Wearing shorts. <laughs> and you have a Mexican ginger standing over you. In <laughs> your fucking cowboy hat in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Diego, an, a very fun performance. We're going to try to fly cool. through more people here. We're running Thank you out so of much, time. Guys. We have so very much. Uh, okay. We have a hard out coming up. He's on Twitter at this Diego Lopez. Please be a crazy person. Please be a crazy person. Please be a crazy person. Here we go. This seems like another seven year vet of the comedy game. <laughs> You know, it's just hard to make it out here in New York. We get a lot of spots, but, you know, I mean, what do you want me to do? Put your hands together for Mike Abruski. You guys know Mike, right? Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Mike Abruski, everybody. I saw it coming. That's why I went so. Cool. Thank you. Hi. I, uh, I don't like taking advice from people because it never really feels personal. Like, I hate that phrase, go with your gut. Because usually means like, oh, quit your job you don't like or ask someone out. But if I went with my gut, 100% of times when I saw cops, I would always steal their gun. <laughs> it's all I think about every day. Every time I see a cop, I go into a full body panic. I go, oh, fuck. Am I going to steal their gun? Can, do they, can they tell I'm going to steal their gun? Can you get arrested for thinking about stealing a cop's gun? But the thing is, that's the whole plan. I just steal the gun and then I have it. I'm just the guy on the train like, well, I'm sorry. You can't arrest me if I walk out of the train and still have the gun. So just gonna slide it through the door here and I'll see you in jail. Uh, I'm going to jail. Anyone else here ever feel like your life's just the first half of a DeVry commercial and it's never gonna get to the second half? Killing it, Mike Abruski. Oh, did it again. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, like six years. Six years. What do you do for a living? Uh, I have like I run my own dog walking business. Ooh, dog walking business. All yeah. dog walkers That's and like, MMA fighters. Yeah, dog walking is like New York's Uber for LA comedians. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's like every, like how every comic in LA does Uber. Everyone here walks dogs usually. Oh. Most of our young comics are MMA fighting dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <at this point. laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, have a small, I have a small dog fighting ring. Uh, which is actually much more fun. And the, re the really motivated comics just hang the dogs out of their Uber and drag them <laughs> along the yeah. side of the car. <laughs> it's you two know? for one because you get paid for the Uber and walking yeah, the dog at the yeah. same time. Dude, one of my favorite things that a good joke can do at, in a stand-up comedian is like make you... So like we all realized how much we've thought about taking a cop's gun before. Like, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just that thing, like, I've thought that so many times, but I've never, like, I've never uh, heard anyone articulate that. That was yeah. just great. Oh, boy, it's, a great that's, it's a great point. And also, it hit me so hard that I was laughing 
I started thinking like, fuck, dude, I'm laughing at the thought of every time I see a cop gun. Yeah. And then you're hitting punch after punch after punch throughout it. So it just kept everyone going. It was really a It fucking... cascaded into <laughs> a word orgy that just... <laughs> It was it was one of my favorite jokes. Period. I just love that fucking joke. It was Thank incredible. You, that was really good. Yeah, it was great. Big J. Is there any is there any chance you could like spin kick Dave's hand or attack? <laughs> no. I feel I, like we're letting uh, down Tony. Diego is. Diego He's my is friend. My, I asked him to come yeah. here. Can you like bite an audience member? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any special skills or talents other than stand up comedy and dog walking? No, that, uh, not really. Nothing uh, at all. No bad. hobbies. No. Uh, I mean, you talked about professional wrestling. I'm like a big wrestling fan. Oh, very so, cool. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. fun. Cool. Thank you. you really Who's your favorite are you wrestler? From, are you from Texas? No, no, I'm from Long Island. Oh. Yeah. I yes. just like this shirt, and I already got uh, accosted twice by people from Philadelphia for it today. So. Ah. One of them was Big J. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, Big J punched me in the back of the head while I was walking on the stairs. <laughs> he didn't even see the front of the shirt. You. You're at the wrong <laughs> festival, boy. <laughs> and that's my haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what, Mike, you had another great set, another New York comedian, another bet with another great set, but I'm going to try to keep flying through people Tony's here as so we get towards the end the of this. the comics are killing. There he goes, Mike Abruski, <laughs> everybody. Yes. He's on Twitter, Mike Abruski, M-I-K-E, A-B-R-U-S-C-I. On Kill Tony, we don't have, yeah. You, know, Tony, this is, you said first Kill Tony in New York, right? Yeah. This is what fucking happens when you come to New York, dude. We just have killers who will be failures for the rest of their <laughs> lives, okay? But I understand. beasts of, as comedians. I understand. And maybe it's just the random luck of the bucket, or, we, or maybe next time we have to actually do And In L.A., we just put it out, like, on the sidewalk. <laughs> See, that's the difference. Here, I get the feeling like there was an, an email that got shot out to the local comedians, like, please, we need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, if we just put a legal pad out front two hours before the show, this shit would be bonkers. If the next name sounds funny, don't even call him up. It sort of sounds funny. It sounds like, I'm guessing, he's been doing it four or five years. He's, Rich uh, Voss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a shot. It, it, if it's another comedy event, after his minute, we're just going to speed round through it. How does that sound? And on to the next one. Put your hands together for Doyle Brand. I still express, yo, I don't smoke weed or sex. Cause it's known to give a Never heard of it? Ooh, this could be good. Come on, everybody. Make some noise for Doyle Brand. Thank you, guys. This is a great intro. Uh, I'm an only child. Yeah, sometimes when I tell people I'm an only child, they uh, talk to me in that pity voice. They're like, oh, you're an only child? You must have been so lonely growing up without any brothers or sisters. I'm like, oh, you must have been so lonely growing up without any imaginary friends. Uh, it's true, though. I actually did. No, no. I did. What the? I, I actually had an imaginary friend. When I was six, my best friend was my imaginary friend, Amanda. Yeah, she was my puppy love. And uh, yeah, she broke up with me. She's like, I'm sorry, Doyle. It's not you. It's me. I'm like, bitch, I created you. What are you talking about? I am me. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I'll give that, oh, at the end of that count as my hardest laugh of the night, by the way. I don't know um, if that's a part of that joke, feeling bad at the fact that it didn't get a laugh, but if that was strategic, you, my friend, are a genius. <laughs> He's like, Amanda, you're my imaginary friend. Why are you breaking up with me? She's like, your ex sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said we were going to speed round through it until we found a crazy person. Looks like we're spending the rest of the episode on you, Doyle. Uh, oh, yeah, this is great. Can you're, I? you're wearing a t-shirt that had, looks like you made it yourself. It has question marks on it. You're like some kind of like uh, gay Riddler or Can something. I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah By went. the end of your set, I felt the emotions of your t-shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, that's his merch. That's how the audience feels. <laughs> Jeremiah. He looks like he starred in the production on Broadway, Riddler on the Roof. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I like it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, I was so confidently going off on Tony about New York talent. Right? I was like, you're trying to find a crazy one. It's well, you not ain't going to find it here. You guys are all crazy out here in New York with your fucking East Coast, West Coast wars, by the way. <laughs> I don't really, there's no, it's, there's nothing to it. It's just that this is what the show's 
sort of supposed to be. It's supposed to be sort of like a, you know, a person. What's your story, Doyle? You tell me what you are. I can't even. There's know, plenty of shitty lunatics in this town, Tony. Don't you worry. Let me guess. You've been doing it 13 years. You're from Long No, go ahead, Doyle. No, no. How long have I been doing comedy? Is this your first time? No. Oh, okie dokie. Uh, uh, how long have you been doing it? <laughs> oh, about three years. This is the part where he goes, but I've been doing it all in L.A. <laughs> I'm like, no, damn it! That's actually true. I just moved here five months ago. <laughs> no! We're back! Wow. We are back! LA Special sucks. sucks! LA sucks! LA sucks! Concrete. LA sucks. The concrete the fuck is wrong with you people? What? Of... I take a fucking six hour flight to be told that? <laughs> Assholes. And then. There was Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Doyle, did you make that shirt yourself? I, I no, did. he yes, bought I... that, Tony. <laughs> he bought that at an underprivileged retard kindergarten class. <laughs> oh! No, man, like... <laughs> I'm gonna make a question mark to a Doyle! <laughs> <laughs> His macaroni <laughs> necklace <laughs> broke on the way up. Oh, I'm a real man. I like to make things with my hands. Yes, I did make this shirt. Wow. What else do you make with your hands? Other than people uncomfortable Love. with the microphone. <laughs> when he said at the beginning of his set, he's like, I'm an only child. <laughs> because I killed my siblings. What else do I make? Masks out of my sibling's skin. <laughs> Oh, Doyle, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work in PR. PR? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're thinking of PI, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What type God. of PR department? Is <laughs> that, that was so stupid. I'm going to make you wear Doyle's shirt after the show. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! He had him doing. He had him oh, doing a uh, PR. Just, just PR another PR him. person out on the hunt to solve a crime. <laughs> now if I can just find these punchlines. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. PR. PR. Huh? What do you do for fun? Comedy. Other uh, than comedy. <laughs> uh, love basketball. Big basketball fan. Uh, you play basketball. I love hiking. Yeah. How soon into walking onto the court do you get beat up for wearing shirts like that? <laughs> uh, I hold my own out there. What's it supposed to signify? Podcast listeners, it's a black t-shirt with blatantly green pool table felt question marks. Yeah. Clearly handmade. I'm a man of many questions. I have more questions than answers. I get that. Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> You you do have like a you do have a very interesting cadence about you. Like you seem like you were one of the characters in the movie Clue or something like that. <laughs> Doyle killed nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I might have done it. No, he's not even a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> It's just Clue is like, seriously, stop harassing this guy already. He's an innocent American. Doyle, what made you make the move from L.A. to New York? Uh, I just love the community here. It's just yeah. I love the, the vibe. What do you love about it? People are just real and authentic. and yeah. You just go out and talk to people sometimes on the yeah. side. How many people have told you that strangers. they hate? Yeah, talk to anybody. I was, how many people have told you that they hate your shirt? No one. People are not being real. Or yeah, <laughs> exactly. Phony ass New York. <laughs> hey, th uh, that uh, shirt brings out your eyes. Burn the shirt! Burn the shirt! Burn the shirt! You want to burn, 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 burn that shirt? If we can burn that shirt, I'll get you a free skank fresh shirt right now. Uh, I'll burn it. Oh! <laughs> All right. No, no, no. it's got to be hands. on your body. <laughs> Can I put flame retardant on? <laughs> you put the retardant, flame retardant. Is that how this oh, that works? That was quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, Sunglasses yeah. We, and we, a we, crack we, we, we can use all the names that we didn't get to tonight as uh, kindling? as kindling for uh, that's all your hopes and dreams. By the way, New York. <laughs> that's a great, it's a great metaphor for your career. <laughs> it's quite a, it's burning my shirt. Well, we have run out of time. Are we gonna burn this shirt? Where do we burn the shirt at? I don't know. Out front. Yeah. Uh, that's a great white yeah. thing in here. Yeah, that's how that you can't. I don't think you could burn it. We'll in hold here. this in the back of the room. We'll shoot Roman candles at it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that's not dangerous around all this fucking curtain. Is it? <laughs> hold on one second. We do have to check. Rebecca, can we set inside fires? Because it's it, it's skank fest. <laughs> what? As long as we pick up our cups, she said it's fine. <laughs> I, 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 I like I like how Big J is like a white trash chemist. <laughs> He's like, hey, I shoot some Roman candles in the uh, in the bucket there. Burn. And light this shirt is that, on fire. Is, does that does you handing us that bucket mean that from the production level of this thing we can burn his shirt? Yeah. Well, all right, <laughs> here we go. We are. Going just over our scheduled time in order to burn a human being's shirt to close tonight's episode. I think the people from the next show will understand. Hey, you want some of the pieces Hey, Chris uh, Fox, thanks hey, well, for helping out. Well, 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 while we're doing this, we might as well plug our stuff, guys. I have the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour in the month of August. Make some noise for the Legion of Skanks. They're here. We did it. Hey, Jesse Berlinger. Appreciate the help. Oh, my God. It's amazing how well open micer names work for this. Hey, Stephen Lewis, you're gay. It is it is lit on fire, by the way. You know what warms my heart, Tony? Is seeing Lewis of the Legion of Skanks lighting a bonfire. Oh, Boom! Hey, can one of you guys explain that to me? I don't get the reference. The shirt is perfectly on fire. Hey, Nick Anthony, your mom's a whore. All right, we should probably... Put this out, right? What else um, are you guys plugging? Nick Anthony's mom. This is a much like this entire Should festival. This thing is really cool, but All we right. probably shouldn't be doing it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away, so it's Lewis's fault. Yeah. Um, Here, give me some. Hey, can we all make some noise like the shirt all burnt up at once? <laughs> Great, perfect. We did it. Kill Tony, New York City. We fucking did it. Make some noise one more time for Doyle Brand. Doyle! The only, the only semi-human half-comedian. What if Lewis right now was just like, dude, I know I promised you a shirt, but we're out. Congrats. How, how much does New York City love Tony Hinchcliffe and Kill Tony? Oh, wow. Tony Thank you. fucking Hinchcliffe. Thank you. Thank you, and congratulations, and great, great work by all the comedians that were on the show tonight. You guys should all be very proud of yourselves. Extremely powerful performance by New York comedians tonight, including my three of my favorite New York friends, Big J. Ogerson, Louis J. Gomez, and Dave Smith. Jeremiah Watkins, you have so much stuff happening. Montreal, his own show. Stand up on the spot, everybody. When is that? Tell us more. Uh, that's uh, July 25th and 26th at the Catacombs with uh, our buddy Jeff Ross. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you guys like these Watkins shirts, uh, I got a couple of larges uh, backstage I'm selling. And follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up. I love you guys. Anything you guys want to plug right now, push it. Guys, uh, yeah, if you're in New York We're City, come check out the Roastmasters every Tuesday at the yeah. stand. It's the sister show to the famous Roast Battle show at the Comedy Store. Best, uh, best comics in New York City battling each other. Myself, Big J's there every single week as a house judge. Rich Voss is there every, every week as a house judge. So come check it out. If you use the promo code LOS, you get free tickets every Tuesday night, 1030 p.m. All hosted by the great Louis J. Gomez. Dave Smith? Yeah, let me just say, uh, just as many of you know, I got a comedy special coming out this summer. Dave Smith, Libertas. Go check that out. That's all. Thank you. So much fun doing this fucking show, Tony. I Thank love you. It. Dave Smith, ladies and gentlemen. The great Big J. Okerson! Yeah. 
Uh, you can check all my stuff out, Big J Comedy. I'm torn all over. You know that, buddy. We uh, get to see each other. Yeah, I'll be at Montreal Festival also with Jeremiah. So. By the way, Doyle Brand's Twitter handle is Doyle Brand. Uh, yeah, my Monster Energy outbreak towards the entire month of August. That's what it's called. I got sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. How crazy is that? I don't think they know what I do for a living. Um, but that's going all around the country the entire month of August and even some September. So you podcast listeners, uh, please check out tour dates at TonyHinchcliffe.com. Gramercy Theaters, August 26th. Guess who's going to be there? Jeremiah motherfucking Watkins is on that show doing pure stand-up. If Big J Okerson's in town, he'll be doing a guest spot August 26th. We don't know. Uh, what? Yeah, your fly's down. Plug it. Uh, I just want—I want to give a quick thank you to all the sponsors on the festival: yeah. Cannabis.net, Deathwish Coffee, Via Ride Sharing App, Gridline Design, uh, Ha the Musical, uh, Fuck up for the longest. The Gantry Loft, Gas Digital, MerchPump.com, uh, Paps Blue Ribbon. Thank you guys. Appreciate everyone hooking us up. You guys are the fucking best, especially Cannabis.net. Make some noise for Brian Redman. See you guys. Yeah. New York, we love you. Thank you. Good night.